Hello, we're just gonna head outside and talk to you about a little development project that we did. So, I'm sure if anyone's been following us on Instagram for any length of time, I guess in the last year, you'll know that we bought a property just outside of London and it was on two acres. We have since severed it into two one acre parcels uh, we renovated the house behind us completely and then we also put the building lot on the market and it's this beautiful piece of property right here so it's a full acre uh, eight minutes from London and uh, it sold really quickly like faster than I think either of us really anticipated yeah um, yeah do you want to talk about kind of what we learned during this project yeah so it, it, we kind of may a bit off a little more than we could chew at the start there uh, we thought the whole process would maybe take six months uh, it was the first severance we'd ever done uh, so didn't know a whole lot about it um, so when we got the process started uh, there was a whole bunch of conditions how many were there like four, 14 14 conditions to that the municipality required us to do uh, so some of the bigger ones uh, was put in a, a well uh, which was an expense that we didn't anticipate uh, then we had to do a site plan storm and drain water oh we had to do yeah, yeah studies like with an engineer yeah. i mean some of these things we did anticipate i think the biggest surprise for us was how long the process took so um we bought the property in may of last year and uh, we actually got it two days after our son was born and so we started the renovation kind of right away and we also started the severance process right away however we couldn't get into a municipal meeting until july so from may till july we basically couldn't do anything with the severance. Um, so yeah. then, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, yeah, it, was a, it was a big learning, learning, uh, learning process. Um, learned a lot. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that in the beginning of my career again, but uh, going forward, it's definitely something uh, I'm willing to take on again for sure. I think um, the most valuable thing for me was just getting the experience of the process. So I will be less afraid to take on a severance again I just now realize like how long it can take and also how much money it takes so like we basically have been holding this property for over a year and that's not something we anticipated um, so it really cuts into your profits like we thought we'd be six months done um, yeah and we also anticipated building on the, the develop like this beautiful piece of property um, not for ourselves but we were going to build a nice house and sell it because houses in this neighborhood or in this area are going um, super high but after hanging on to it for 12 14 months uh, we, we were done we, we yeah, just, wanted just wanted to get, to get rid, of rid of it sell the lot sell the sell the uh, existing property and just be done with it but we also had with the house too with the renovations uh, we had a few large unexpected costs um, we actually had to put a new well in, so that was an extra 22k that we didn't anticipate. And then the well on the lot um, that we didn't know we had to do as part of our conditions was another 14,000. 14, um, so yeah, we had a lot of unexpected costs, um, and then just with carrying it for 14 months, um, thankfully we were in the position to do that. But uh, yeah, it was it was uh, it was a, it was a tough tough one when we anticipated it only being six months. Yeah. So if my advice to anyone who wants to take on a severance, um, maybe have some deep pockets uh, and do your homework too. And do your homework. We kind of jumped in uh, with, with bright eyes, but uh, not a whole, a whole lot of uh, experience or knowledge about the process. Um, but yeah, it worked out well. Uh, even over 14 months and all those unexpected costs, still a quite profitable um, project. So we're happy with that. But uh, we're yeah. gonna we're gonna stick to easier stuff for the next little bit. Give us a break. Speak for yourself. Yeah. Get, well, okay. I want to stick to easy stuff. Give ourselves a little bit of a break, a little bit of um, you know some breathing room. Just maybe not as risky. And um, but I'll definitely I'll definitely take on a severance again. I think my like one of my big goals is I would like to develop um, a small little subdivision, and I don't mean small in terms of like lot size. I like I'm talking like maybe 10 to 20 houses but on large like properties so like at least half an acre properties so like I'm I just picture like these beautiful estates basically so um, I still have that in the back of my mind and that is something that I will tackle one day just uh, maybe not this year <laughs> yeah and I, I, I love infill development so 
Um, it's something I, I look at uh, almost a daily basis. So um, Paula may be out, but uh, I'm still looking. So <laughs> I guess we'll have to agree to disagree until something really That's good right. comes up. I'm awesome. e I'm easily persuaded. So yeah. awesome. Thanks, guys. See ya.